Hi guys, Raj here, back with another video. Serverless is heating up and one of the major use cases is using Lambda as API backend. So let's build an API with Lambda and API Gateway. We are going to go over the overall API flow first, then build a GET and POST API and then we are going to invoke that API using browser and Postman. Alright, let's get started. Let's take a look at the API flow. Who can call the API in the API gateway? Basically any API consumer. Web applications, mobile applications, IoT devices um, are some of the examples. So if we look at the API gateway, uh, API Gateway is an AWS service for creating, publishing, maintaining, monitoring, and securing REST and WebSocket APIs at any scale. It is fully managed, highly available, and scalable. It will scale up and down with traffic. So in this case, API Gateway calls the Lambda backend. Lambda does all the computations and sends the response back. As part of computations, Lambda can reach out to any AWS service through SDK. I'm just showing a couple here. So Dynamo and S3 to store and retrieve data and AWS complement for say sentiment analysis. Okay, now that we went over the API flow, let's jump to the demo. So let's go over the API input output for the demo. The get API will return hello world, no input is required. For the POST API, API will accept the name of a country in the input and return hello from input country name. So let's do the GET API first. So for that, we need to create a Lambda, which will basically return hello world. So we are in the AWS console. We are going to go to Lambda. We are going to click create function, give the function a name, we will let AWS to create the execution role. Click create function. So we selected Lambda runtime as Python 3.7 and AWS automatically creates a Lambda which returns hello from Lambda. We are just going to change this to world and then save it. Okay, now let's make our API. Let's go to API gateway. I'm just going to type API gateway here. Click create API, API name, click create API. In this screen, you click actions and you will see create method and create resource. Resource, you can think of different logical entities in your organization. What do I mean by that? Let's say you are running a pet store. So one of the logical entity of a pet store could be inventory management. So if I click create resource and create pet store inventory, and then we're going to create another resource. Let's say pet store payment. Okay, and then under each resource, you can create different method like get. So in this case, get might get uh, some particular item from the inventory. Um, you can create a post under this um, pet store inventory, right? Same way under pet store payment, you can create different get and post. Uh, but for this, I'm going to delete this. For this, I'm just going to create a resource called hello world. Click create resource. Now I'm going to create a get method. Click this check mark. In this screen, you specify which Lambda function this API will call in the backend. Once you start typing the name, it should come on the dropdown and all you have to do is select it. Click save. Okay, click okay. Okay, now let's test this out. To test it out, you click this test icon and then click test. Here we go, hello world. So we did this test from inside API Gateway. 
we are going to create the post method next and test it out locally as well and then we are going to go to testing from our browser and uh, postman so for the post api we are going to use this lambda function greet from country as you can see it's pretty straightforward um, the name of the country is passed in event and then we just return hello from event country so if i want to show you how a sample input looks uh, configure test so yeah the input should be country and USA or any 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 country name uh, you pass it in a JSON and uh, if I run this it should say hello from USA so if I go and change this USA to let's say England click save click test there we go it says hello from England okay now let's uh, do the API in the API Gateway. Okay, we are back to API Gateway console. We're gonna click Actions. We're gonna create a method, and this time it would be post. Click this check mark. Okay, the Lambda function. Uh, we are going to find our greet from country. Here we go. Click Save, click OK. Okay, so it is created. Now we're gonna click this test icon and we're gonna pass uh, the JSON in here to test it out. So we said country USA. So let's test it out. Hello from USA. Okay, so this is, this is working. So we created and tested the API in API Gateway, but if you notice, there is no endpoint yet. So we cannot call it from outside of API Gateway. So to do that, we have to deploy our APIs. So all we have to do is click Action and click Deploy API. You create a stage. So for this one, I'm just going to name it Dev as in Development. Click Deploy. Okay, so the Dev is created under Stages. If I click it, you should see uh, that the post and gate is here. So you can see you have an invoke URL now. So one thing to note, both for the post and the gate, the URL is same. So what happens if we invoke this from a browser? So let's copy this. And I'm going to open an incognito window and paste it there. So as you can see, this output is from the get method rather than post. So anytime you just paste a URL in a browser, it by default invokes the get method. So how do we call the post method? So for post method, we are going to use postman where we can pass the request JSON. So I'm in postman. So I'm just gonna paste the URL here. Uh, this still says get, so I'm gonna send it. Okay, and then uh, the Lambda returns a JSON with status code and the body says hello world. Okay, so this is calling the get API. Now let's change this to post without changing anything else. And let's try to click send. Okay, so it gives an error. It's saying it's expecting a field country in the input field event and it is not getting it. Um, okay, so this time we are going to pass the request JSON. So we're going to click body, raw, you can make it JSON. And all we're going to do is do the same thing we did before when we were testing in the API Gateway itself. Then we are going to click send. Here we go. Hello from USA. So if we change it to France, where Women's Soccer World Cup is happening, click Send. Here we go. Hello from France. All right, guys, that is the video. We started with understanding the overall API flow. Then we built Lambda and API with API Gateway, both for Get and Post. And then we invoke the APIs using Browser and Postman. If you guys like this video, Press that like button and subscribe. More videos are coming. See you guys later. Bye.